an innovator named Ghanshyam has come up with a software solution called Kometa Intellect, which aims to provide cybersecurity accessible and affordable to all. They do research and development and implementation of cybersecurity, as well as software and proof of concept development for the government. Currently, they are working with one of the leading edutech company in Pune. Welcome to yet another edition of Change Makers. High quality cyber security services are needed to protect businesses and individuals from the increasing threat of cyber attacks. These services help protect against malicious software, malicious actors and other online threats. They also provide protection from data breaches and other security incidents. But providing high quality cyber security services while making it affordable and accessible to all is a big challenge. One entrepreneur who has taken up this challenge and trying to make difference is Mr. Ganshyam Agarwal, the co-founder and CEO of Kameta Intellect. Uh, welcome Mr. Ganshyam. Thank you. Can it's you tell us? Can you tell us more about yourself and your passion for computers and how it has influenced your decision to start Kameta Intellect? Sure. So I was uh, very much interested in computers from a very early age. I think my father bought a computer when I was only one year old. And uh, since the childhood only, I have been seeing and seeing and working around computers. So uh, that's how the I got the passion of it. And in college, there was this uh, very nice environment of the startups and uh, everything. The professors were all very helpful and uh, they encouraged us to learn and uh, try to innovate. Uh, so that's how I I thought of st starting a company, and uh, that's how Cometa started. It I, I registered it in the, in the year 2019, and uh, that's how it began. Great. Yeah. Uh, your belief in the power to transform the world and make it better place is inspiring. Uh, it's evident that your passion has driven you to establish Cometa Intellect. Kanshyam, can you share your experience of participating in Smart India Hackathon and how it has impacted your entrepreneurial journey? Sure. So, Smart India Hackathon was, it was a very great experience and uh, it was actually my first experience in, in the team building aspect. So, earlier uh, I was working and I was this very, very much solo entrepreneur. Whatever I did, I did all on my own. But uh, when we participated in SIH, we were a team of five and uh, I had to manage my team, I was the leader and uh, there that was the first experience of how to manage your team, how to encourage your team. So, you know, entrepreneurship is not something you can do solo, you, it's a team exercise. So you have to take your team forward. So th th that's that was the very key experience there. And also when uh, it was online, the year uh, when I participated in SIH, that was the COVID year and uh, it was online, but meeting mentors over e-meet and everything, it was a very nice experience. They were very highly skilled ex experts in their respective fields. They gave very useful insights. It was great talking to them. Uh, thank you for sharing your experience of participating in Smart India Hackathon. What valuable lessons did you learn from the experience? And how has it shaped your approach towards building Kameta Intellect? So, as I mentioned, uh, from Smart India Hackathon, team building and taking your team, leading your team was a very key takeaway for me from there. And meeting the mentors, they, they gave me very useful insights. Some insights like, uh, I couldn't have imagined it myself, myself in the college, right? Uh, so in, in my software, they, they pointed out a few things like this was so and so, this was so and so, and I was like blown away completely. So how can someone think it, think in that way also? So the mentors were very great. And, uh, so that, that was a point I decided, okay, mentorship is not decided. I learned that mentorship is, uh, is the key, right? You cannot uh, take it solo. You have to have mentor, you have to have a team and then everything moves together that's right in the startup you need to have good mentor and good team uh, great yes uh, tell us about Kometa intellect and the services it provides in the cloud and security consultancy space how do you differentiate yourself from other similar companies in the market sure so uh, Kometa intellect provides managed services 
primarily and uh, by managed services it means let's say there is a company let's say any facebook only for example so facebook will need to have its own cloud infrastructure and everything there will be a large team a team of developers so for a company of scale facebook it's feasible for them to have their own cloud experts who manage their cloud and everything but for small or medium organizations they need some external company to manage it for them it's not economically viable for them to hire full time cloud experts and then um, do the management of the cloud so we provide cloud management as a service so what we do is uh, we our guys manage our team manages their cloud for them so let's say they have it in azure or gcp whatever so we will let's say create and delete users where their when their employees enter or leave organization let's say when a server goes down we will restart it uh, all that kind of stuff that is the cloud management part then in the security aspect we we check we scan their cloud for vulnerability uh, we do something called penetration testing it's very much popular in the security domain so we test their applications then uh, if they want us to review their code from a security point of view we can do that as well so those are some key things key services we provide so your uh, usp are providing high quality cyber security services that are affordable and accessible uh, is your usp so as the co-founder and ceo of cometa intellect what are your key responsibilities and the roles in the company how do you envision leading the company towards achieving its goals and making a positive inf- impact on the world so uh, as a ceo my important role is to lead the team lead the company and uh, you know how does the company proceed as a as a whole right so the company has its mission and how does the company reach to its mission and uh, whenever you know th- th- there is something cha- there is a change in market so not on not only me my team has to look into it whatever is going on whatever latest changes are developments are in in the market so we have to take care of it we have to look into it and uh, for my team whenever uh, th- th- there is some change so basically you know leading the team is one of my very important goals and uh, finding finding new clients not not only finding new clients but new areas of business so we expand you know from our existing clients we want more business so we figure out how how do we provide more services to the existing clients so that we can get more business from them and also how do we expand to new markets finding new clients so recently only we we had our strategy developed to go overseas to abroad different countries so for now we are targeting middle east uh, america for as of right now maybe europe would not wouldn't be a very good choice but certainly america there also things are not very great but but it's okay we can go there and middle east is doing fine so that's that's what strategy development that's one of my key responsibilities so your key responsibilities and roles showcase your leadership and vision for the company your determination to achieve the company's goal and make a positive impact on the world is commendable Uh, Mr. Ganshyam, who are the target beneficiaries of Kameta Intellect Services, and why did you choose to focus on small to medium scale organization and government bodies? What unique challenges do you foresee in serving these uh, specific segments? So, uh, as we saw, there are these large companies, and large companies can themselves hire experts for for managing their infrastructure. They can uh, always hire ethical hackers for doing the security testing and everything. So that's why we don't target large companies as of now, because there is nothing we can provide to them as of now. So small and medium uh, scale companies they require another party to do the infrastructure management for them. so that's a very sweet spot for us we can provide a lot of services there they really need all the services which we provide that's about small and medium scale businesses and in government so while i was in college only i would say out of luck i happened to meet uh, the district collector and they wanted something i could offer in the area of computers only so from there only all this government business started so then i registered the company and then they came up with more requirements and there was uh, a lot i could offer so uh, especially government of odisha it's doing a lot of work in computer uh, 
in the field of computer so many of the services are pro being provided online previously for something you had to go to the let's say any any government body you had to stand in a long queue and get your work done but now a lot of work is getting is being done online so there is a lot we can offer to government and having these connections from from an early age so it's easier for me to go to government to whenever they want to have some proof of concept built for example or they want some some software we are not really very large company but we can build a lot of software for them so th that's what we offer to government yeah. and uh, in in this specific segment some key challenges are the market changes very fast so if you go into operating system development it's a rather stable market you won't see a very fast the changes are slow but in cyber security uh, you know every day work is being done every day new vulnerabilities come up so you have to stay up to date to keep up with the market also these there are these new cloud providers and vendors previously there are only like three major google azure and aws but now there are like tens twenties of them so to keep up with the market to keep up with the changes you really have to uh, you have to be up to date with what is being provided what is being offered so that you can offer your services to the clients so that that's about it yeah that's great we appreciate your uh, strategic approach in serving these segments and foresee that you may face unique challenges in meeting their specific needs uh, mr ganshyam can you elaborate on the uh, unique selling proposition of kameta intellect how have you structured the organization to provide affordable and accessible service cyber security services without compromising on quality sure so uh, there are a few things which humans can do really great like there is no match of it for computers and humans there are certain things a human has to do with current technology so that's for the humans part but what we have done is being being a uh, new startup what we have done is we have focused uh, on robots we have focused on building bots computer bots uh, who who do one thing and they do it great so so we have developed these bots who do let's say they do some report some analysis and then they send the reports to the client so that's how we have structured our organization so human resource is very expensive and uh, for a young startup it's not very efficient uh, not even economically possible to hire uh, very good talent from the market so we have focused ourselves on bots so bots generate the reports bot do the automated testing code analysis everything so that's one of the usp and that's what differentiates us from many other players in the same segment yeah yeah great so your usp is like a bots and it reflects uh, your dedication to making cyber security accessible to all while maintaining the high standard well done uh, how did you go about customer acquisition? At initial stage, it must have been very challenging. What strategies did you adopt? So, uh, like I mentioned, I had found a great mentor, and uh, I found him through actually through Startup Odisha program. So, uh, I was selected in Startup Odisha in my college in the uh, national level program, and I went to an organization where the national level event was being held and i met him there uh, his name is anand agrawal he is my mentor currently and uh, from a very long time actually and uh, he has been guiding me all along so he helped me find uh, key customers the the initial customers like you told now finding the initial customer is very challenging because when you go to sell a cyber security service people want some credential right you cannot just go and say okay i am so and so expert and i'll bro do everything for you it just doesn't work like that you have to show some previous work so my mentor helped me in that and uh, like i said the company itself was registered in 2019 but uh, i was when i was in college until 2020 uh, work was being done in the company i uh, went to college worked in the company at the same time it was all going good but uh, in after finishing college i took a job for like one and a half year let's say and uh, recently only i think three or four months ago only we full swing went in back, back into cometa the company and uh, when when i went back i again got in touch with my mentor and i requested him okay we we are starting so and so and can you guide us uh, what to do how to acquire initial customers and that's when he helped 
and uh, again the government connections as i mentioned it also helped a lot they are very helpful you know district level government officials uh, even the state level but i have uh, been in touch with district level a lot so they are very helpful very kind and uh, you know they they provide business they they provide mentorship as well so yeah that's it really it's good to know that you have uh, got a right mentor and uh, really appreciate uh, like you registered the company in your uh, third year itself and then went for a job for one and a half year uh, gained experience and came back to the your startup great uh, your approach to customer acquisition showcases your resilience and determination as an entrepreneur kudos to your efforts uh, mr ganshyam kameta intellect works closely with government bodies for building applications and proof of concepts can you share some examples of successful projects you have worked on with government bodies and how they have impacted their technology requirements sure so very recently only with one of the districts in odisha here we developed a, a project a software suit for girl child care uh, it was under beti bachao beti padhao scheme and uh, the software what it did was you could uh, you know anganwadi workers school teachers everybody can uh, gather information about the girl children and uh, then data analysis can be performed over it and various useful data points can be taken out like whatever government needs government officials rather they need uh, this data input in order to take good decisions so what software does is it it crunches the field level collected data and creates insights from it and uh, from those insights they can take decisions so we did that for the district government and now they are thinking about implementing it all over the state so that that's a work in progress Yeah. great congratulations ganshyam and you are uh, giving back to your society by your uh, startup it's evident that your projects have had a positive impact and we appreciate your contribution to the achievement of technology in the government sector uh, ganshyam the cloud and cyber security inter- industry is constantly evolving how do you plan to keep kameta intellect updated with the latest ad- advancements technologies and best practices in the field to ensure you stay competitive and continue to provide cutting edge services to your customers so uh, you know we can approach this in two different uh, forms so first would be the personal growth personally how do you uh, grow yourself how do you keep updated with the market and the second would be how do you update your company with the changing market so in a personal level you know uh, there is this thing called t shaped knowledge so uh, the vertical bar in t it's it states it represents that you should have your knowledge very deep in a, in a few areas in a few specific areas you you should have very deep knowledge and in the like the horizontal bar of the t represents that you should have uh, a little bit knowledge of all of everything so that you can run your company nicely so i think uh, during the college itself and even afterwards that's more like a continuing thing so uh, my key area being cyber security that's what i have been doing since like i don't know 10 years so uh, that's the vertical part and uh, i try to keep myself updated with the market whatever changes are being going on i follow journals i follow news articles and that's how i stay up to date with whatever changes are being made in the industry then about the company so you know like i said there are many different key uh, cloud providers coming up so you cannot expect your team to learn everything whatever is coming but we always encourage our team to be flexible with learning so you know if we hire a resource for aws then uh, okay he does aws or he is fine okay great but uh, we also so encourage them to learn other things like uh, maybe development maybe google cloud so if they are willing to learn then we definitely encourage them because it always helps you know you don't know when you will get what client so maybe your client now requires google instead of aws so your resources must be compatible with the other providers also and also that being said you cannot expect your team to learn everything so what we do is we keep hiring from the market for different other uh uh services other kind of software available so you know that's one way you can keep updated with the market 
Yes. Yeah. As a dynamic industry, staying updated with the latest advancements, technologies, and best practices in the cloud and cyber security field is crucial. Your commitment to keeping Kameta intellect updated is commendable. Uh, Ganshyam, can you share some, some of the biggest achievements or milestones of Kameta intellect since its inception and how they have contributed to the company's growth and success? And what are your future plans and vision for the company? Sure. So, first uh, important uh, milestone I would say is getting our first customer. So our mentor helped, helped us get the first customer and that itself made us profitable in the first month of business. You know, I didn't even imagine that would be possible. I was expecting, okay, an investment period of at least six months, even though we are in services industry, but still one would expect an investment period of like at least six months or six months until you break even. So, but that, that wasn't the case with us. We were profitable since the first month of business itself. So I, I consider that as a big milestone and uh, another milestone would be getting the uh, with the recently the girl child uh, program software which we built that was again a milestone you know it makes me uh, believe my life is valuable you know by contributing something to someone else's life positively like if for the girl children we can do something then it makes my and my uh, colleagues lives valuable that's what i believe so that those are like some key milestones and moving our way forward we believe uh, like i already mentioned we are trying to expand we are trying to go glo go global whatever uh, you know you need some good legal and financial financial as in uh, chartered accountants and uh, legal people who can help you with uh, those specific areas because our area is a software development consultancy we are not a law firm right so we hire we don't hire we again take consultancy from law firms from chartered accountant firms so we are already in the process of doing that so that we can go, go global you know when you have a first international paying customer you should be able to receive the money right and uh, it is not as simple as it sounds uh, there are laws and uh, which must be complied with so that is all along the way yeah great uh, Gansham surely you will get your international customer very quickly uh, the achievements and the milestones of Kameta intellect uh, since its inception are impressive they reflect your dedication and hard work in building the company's growth and success your future plans and vision for the company showcase your ambition and determination to achieve even great heights. Well done. And we wish you get, a, get an in international client very quickly. Mr. Ganshyam, as an experienced entrepreneur, what advice would you give to aspiring entrepreneurs who are looking to start their own venture in the cloud and security consultancy space or any other industry? What are the key learnings or tips you would you like to share with them to help them succeed in their entrepreneurial journey? So, uh, I would say that uh, having a mentor is really, really important. You know, it's, it's not something that, that would be overlooked. Please have a mentor. Uh, be You might be of any age, it doesn't matter. You might be 20, you might be 40, whatever. Your business can be at any stage. Maybe you are doing only POC now. Or maybe you are already, you know, you have series A, series B funding already done. Whatever be the case, a mentor is always helpful. You should have a mentor. That's what I would say. And uh, try to get initial customers and try to be profitable. You know, that's an obvious one. Be, become profitable, become break even at least as soon as possible. Try to find out early customer, do market research well. And there are these lot of, uh, you know, online resources available related to entrepreneurship. So don't just focus on what you are building, what you are doing. Uh, also focus on, there are these, uh, you know, SWOT analysis, pestle analysis, all these things, which can tell if you are going in the right direction. So these analysis help you find out your own weak points, your own strengths, and uh, who are your competitors, things like that. There are many online resources available. And uh, 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 what I have experienced, you know, in India currently, it's very, it's very suitable for entrepreneurship. You know, you go out, I met many people. They are very helpful, you know, they, even government bodies, private bodies, mentors, incubation centers. Wherever I go, I feel this, this huge, strong energy for startup. So be a part of it, 
and uh, you know get excited build what build what you want to build you know it's a small life so uh, do what you whatever you find exciting and do it well you know excel at it that's what i say yeah great uh, having a mentor and acquiring an early customer are the key takeaways yeah. yeah as an experienced entrepreneur your advice to aspiring entrepreneurs is invaluable your key learnings and tips for success in the cloud and security consultancy space or any other industry reflective of wisdom and experience your willingness to share your insight is commendable and will surely inspire aspiring entrepreneurs to embark on their entrepreneurial journey with confidence thank you so much for joining us today and sharing your thoughts thank you mr ganesh thank you thank you it was very nice being here thanks uh, with that we have come to the end of this edition of change makers but stay tuned for more such inspiring stories till then goodbye